trying to make me fresh. Carvelo. Nine three one six one five. Lil' Dilly from the bottom of the map. I ain't gotta have a strap. I still get him with the rap. Hating Dilly, man, you gotta be an idiot. In fact, took the monkey off, then I put the city on my back. Country boy, but I hang around city slicker. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the show. My name is Caleb, and we are so excited to have you. Well, first thing I gotta say is my sincerest apologies about missing last week's episode. Um, uh, had a little fried chicken, miss, uh, mishap, but I'm back here and I'm super excited. And it's February and you know what that means. It's Black History Month. So you know this episode is going to be filled with fun, knowledge, and history. But I cannot do anything without my amazing co-host. Give it up for Ronnie and Simeon. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Okay, great. What is that? She doing too much already. Already doing way too much. Already doing way too much. Nobody do this no more, bro. <laughs> but guys, how you guys? How are you guys? How you guys? <laughs> chilling? Chilling? <laughs> Good. Tell me about school. What's been going on? Ugh. Second semester. Second semester. Last semester. Right, me too. Oh, y'all old. Y'all some oldies. And it's not even the same length as a regular semester. It's like a month shorter. So yeah. old. True. I also feel like the second semester like definitely goes by super fast. duper fast. Like I'm like, wow, like it's we just started. And, and now it's February, like it was just January. Mm-hmm. January of 2022. Like I kind of forgot about 2020 and 2021. Ronnie, what about you? What's been going on in your life? Um, you know, finals. I got 300s from three finals. Mm-hmm. One in honors chem, civics, and geometry. Mm-hmm. So I'm proud of that. Yeah. Uh, you know, making friends still. I don't have, I, what did I used to say? I don't have friends. Yeah, we're talking like, um, friends were kind of an issue. But now I do. I have some plans this, uh, coming month. I have a party I'm going to. I'm just, you know, living my life. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) but yeah, I just been living my life. It's been really nice, but it's cold and it's fasting, so I can't have I'm doing the all water fast. Okay. So I can't have hot chocolate okay. when I'm freezing. Uh, yeah. we, anyway, let's talk about what's month? What's this month? It's Black History Month. Black History Month. Black History Month. It's our month. It is. It's our month. <laughs> I'm excited. I've been acting up all month. I'm not, I'm not going to keep you acting up all month. It's our <laughs> month. It's our month. What, what can we do? Like, this is our time to act up. You know, we have no other time. So I have to ask you guys my first question. What do you guys think the importance of black history? And then we only got one month. Like, is that is that kind of how we feel about that? Low key the shortest month too. Low key. Low key the shortest month. Speed right on past. <laughs> it's speed. They right couldn't on even give us the 30 days. They got the 28 plus every four years we get 29. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say though, it's crazy because we have one month, but like black history is every day. Like we have we have a female black. BP. Like, that's amazing. I cried. Okay. Me too. Me too. We did it, Joe. We did it. We did it, Joe. You feel me? Like, that that was a moment. Like, that that was a moment. That that was a moment. That was a moment. You feel me? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But tell me, what do you guys do? Like, how do you guys celebrate? Do you guys, like, post on your Instagram? Do you guys... Yeah. So, I, especially, like, 2020, was it... Yeah, 20, yeah, 2020, I started like being more vocal about like racial injustice and just like posting, even though it's posting something, you know, it doesn't matter like how many followers you have or anything, cause I'm, someone is learning something. So like posting like people that are missing or just like weird cases that have never been solved or just like uh, history facts that I've never knew. I always repost that stuff, especially when I've never heard of something. And I usually like to like, to learn something like I know last year on my own YouTube channel like I did a black history fact each video okay. which was a little hard because I didn't want to do those like generic ones like you, the basics the, basics. the ones we go over the every year the bear the bear the bear, <laughs> the bear. what about you Simeon what you do I don't post for it I'm so me I just do what I always do um, more, more during black history though I just Tell people more facts. Yeah. Tell people more information. If people ask me questions, always, I always ask and answer them. But like, 
my main thing with Black History is just knowing where we come from, hey. seeing like how far we came, and even like comparing and seeing like, okay, this was going on, is it still going on? Can we fix it? Like, what's the issue and stuff like that? Just remember. And to go with that, sorry, no, no, I have no. like a fun fact. Oh, it's not fun. I have a fact, a history fact. Oh, come on. Okay, I'll tell that, and then I have something else. But uh. The fact is that there was 12 presidents, don't know their names, but 12 presidents had slaves, and they don't talk about that at all. Uh, I only know two of their names, because I don't know the presidents. I'm so serious. It's, I mean, uh, I've only been alive for like three or four, so, wait, three, let me see. Four. I'm gonna pretend like that math. Yeah. Yeah, okay, you're right, you're right. You're yeah, sure. so, I mean, obviously you learn that, but I don't remember learning the presidents. I feel you. You know, I know the first two and the last, the ones I was alive for. But also, like, even like there's this um, MLK speech, I mean, I know I was going over in civics. It was something like, it was like a speech I never heard of. He's talking about, like, payments, like a... Uh, how people don't have jobs and stuff, and I just think that's absolutely crazy. Yes. To, I always bring this up. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to work now, and there's so many job opportunities. I don't have a job, but it's not like I'm looking for one at the moment, but MLK was going so hard, or just a bunch of people, voting rights, people don't want to vote, you know? It's just like crazy mm. to where we were, and people don't want to do those things when we yeah. have it at yeah. this point. But even like, yeah, the job one, it, it gets me so mad. Cause like me and my mom, we were driving, seeing how many hiring signs we saw. Everywhere. But everybody be like, just doing like nothing. And yeah. it's just so weird to see how people were going so hard for certain topics and people still don't want to do it. You know, it's crazy. But the point that I put to that is that like, history repeats itself. And you know, it's, it's the part in learning about black history and us studying those things to make sure, you know what I'm saying, we don't make those same mistakes, you know what I'm saying, and we get better. I think I think that's the main biggest thing about black history, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, history always repeats itself when people don't take the time to understand always. history. Always, it's, it's a daily, it's a daily, daily, daily reminder. And now, speaking of daily reminders, Simeon. We got our monthly scripture. Okay. So. Okay, I can go first. All right, uh, Psalms 34, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. To me, this scripture is pretty much, let me pull it up one more time. This scripture pretty much is saying like, when we go through things like hard times or whatever, you know, the generic emotions when you're not happy or when you're sad or something. Yeah. So to me, this scripture is just saying, you know, we always just need that reminder that God's there, even if we don't feel it. I mean, yeah. so um, even through like, you know, those quote unquote riots in 2020, like that was a fearful time where just like lots of things happen and it's just like awkward, even like being a black man, it's still crazy mm -hmm. to, for different situations. and having those cousins or having those uncles, whatever, right. you know, you always just need, you know, that little sincere reminder. So. And I think, I think they definitely always had that when we think about Rosa Parks, you know what I'm saying, on the bus when they told her to get up. She definitely had that reminder in her head of, you know, I'm walking with God and when you walk with God, you can do anything. Same thing with Dr. King. He got up and talked in front of thousands of people. And of course, I mean, I'm sure he was scared. I'm sure he was like, had haters and everything like that. But like you said, with the, with the power of the Lord, you can do anything and I'm looking at the middle so I hope you got me in the middle you can do anything send me it all right so I got James chapter 1 verse 12 and okay. it says blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because having stood the test the person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to the ones who love him and basically um, it kind of ties into black history too because we went through so much yes. trials and testing and and having to be under so much people like just just beneath people yeah and with that like it just holds strong that you know like go through go through it with god and have god at the forefront yeah. and you know like you can get through anything yeah. so even yeah. even through 400 years of captivity okay okay i'm actually reading the bible cover to cover on this plan and i just finished genesis i'm in exodus but it's really breaking down the story of like abraham and his family 
and God made a covenant with Abraham and his family to basically save humanity. And that's how God is doing it through Abraham and all his seeds. And the covenant is so crazy because if you literally think about it, God wants his people to rule. You feel me? God wants his people to be the ones who are pushing for change and going for change. And like you said, sticking through the test of time, pushing through, remember that God's there and push through every test, you can make it. So literally, literally, history has been in the Bible for so, for so, so long. And that's why we repeat it, you feel me? But one thing that I noticed in the Bible is that they didn't really say a lot of things about color, you know, black, white, purple, orange, but they all have same characteristics of perseverance, faith, overcoming. And if we look at black history and the African-American culture, I mean, that's just what we do. What can, what can we say? Like, that's just what we do. Like, that's, that's just who we are. That's just what we do. You know what I'm saying? And February is our month to turn up. But we'll be right back after this with some more Black History Talk. So fun. And I'll see you after this. Bye. Hey, what's up, guys? So as you know, we've been having a recent surge of COVID outbreaks. And with that, our church is moving on to the web services once again. That's every Sunday at 12 o'clock noon. And as you can see on the plug, we've only had like three people on the set at a time. That's on purpose. We're not like skipping out on you guys. It's just so we can get a better feel for social distancing and make sure we're being safe while producing content for you guys. So make sure you guys tune into our web shows and make sure you guys tune into the plug uh, every week and every Sunday at 12. So thank you guys for watching and yeah. And we're back. Now, it wouldn't be a plug show if no. we did not have a game. So today's game, we're calling it In It To Win It. The rules of the game are simple. Me and Simeon are gonna be blindfolded. Yep. Then we're gonna take our wooden spoons here and we have to scoop up these cotton balls and put them in here. This is my side, that's Simeon's side. At the end, we'll see who has the most cotton balls. All right? Yo. <laughs> Yo, I should have somebody give me that beat right before this. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I feel like you can still see. Stop playing. I can't see. I, you know what I'm saying? I just folded up multiple times. All right, all right. How many fingers you holding up right now? Five. Mm, I can't see, so. All right. Cool. Got it. You ready? You yeah. blindfolded? Yeah. You, you lying? Nah. I hope, hope he's not lying. <laughs> I can't see. Can't see no staff on that. Look, all right, I here we go. even got a little piece that comes out. Here we go. Ready in three, two, one, go. I feel like I'm not. I'm gonna stand. You're standing? Yeah. Uh, did I get some? Man, did I get some? Hold on. I feel like I'm not even. Oh, there's the first hold thing. On, hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh. Oh, mm -hmm. no, that feel. I know that feel. Yup. 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 Eight. All right, is my 60 seconds up? My production team calling me? My 60 seconds? They up? 15 I, seconds left. Oh, I feel like I, I definitely didn't want. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, oh, two, Nick. Now listen here. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. That's me. Hey, no, that's not. That don't that's count. Me. That's, that's me. That's the middle me. one. That's not that's your. Me. That's not your side, bro. That's me. That's not that's your me. side, bro. That's, 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 that's your me. side. Oh, that's no. seven. Nah, real. That's seven. This your side. Three. You know what I'm saying? This mine. Four. I win. You know what I'm saying? The middle don't count. That's not your side. You can't count the middle. Because I could have put stuff in the middle, too. You just won't know. No. Yeah. For everybody yeah. out there, Caleb won the game. Um, if you want to try this game at home, it's super easy. All you need is some cotton balls. Your mama get you a spoon. spoon. Get you a blindfold. Family fun game night presented by The Plug. Okay? And always remember I win. Hey, guys. It's Courtney. Um, today, we're just going to do a vlog. So um, I'm just cleaning my room, listening to Adele. My room is messy, but it's okay. Um, you get a little sneak peek inside my room, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to clean my room and then I have to go pick up my friend in like 15, not 15 minutes, maybe like a half an hour, but I have to finish clean my room first. So I'll check back in with you guys in a second.
Okay guys, so we're done cleaning. So now I'm about to go pick up my friend and um, yeah, I'm gonna help her take her hair down, so. I just realized it's February now, so we get to change this. Hello? It's not working. Okay. Yes, so now we're gonna be leaving now, sorry. Hey guys, so yeah. I got Krista. Hey. Um, we're eating lunch and then we're about to hit, help her take her hair down. So, okay, guys, so I finished her hair. She's over there laying down. Um, probably about to go eat some cereal. I don't even know. But, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're about to go now. Hey, guys, so it's the next day. I dropped my friend off and, um, yeah, I came back because we're going to go see Lion King today. Um, it's a lot of snow though. So, yeah, I still don't know what I'm aware. So, you guys can help me. Hey guys, so we're ready to leave now. This is my fit. I really go full out, but it's still cute though. But um, yeah, we're about to leave now and um, we'll update when we get there, but yeah. So I didn't end up updating, low-key forgot, but Lion King 10 out of 10, it was so fun. Um, and yeah, I was actually mad because I went to go get food afterwards and everything was closed. But it's really because, you know, we got our like 11, so yeah. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and tune in next time. Bye. And welcome back. Now, it is time for our plug talk. And it's Black History Month, it's February. So today, I feel like we need to talk about faith. We need to talk about perseverance. We need to talk about overcoming. Because like I mentioned, Dr. King, he had a dream. Rosa Parks, he had a dream. Harriet Tubman. She had a mission. Ronnie, read me that scripture that you was talking about earlier. Uh, Psalms 34, the Lord is close to the broken heart and he rescues those whose spirits are crushed. Mm. Okay. First, I'm breaking that down. The Lord is close to the broken heart. Rescue those spirits who are crushed. Okay. Now, we in 400 years been enslaved. We've been segregated. You know what I'm saying? Like all these things have been pushed on, oppressed on us, but God has still been close. He still never left us, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that reminder, that constant reminder, I love that. I really, I really do love that. But, you know, we're only tapping the surface here. We gotta go a little bit deeper. So I think we gotta bring it later on. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? So, let me welcome on my man, Steve. Steve Caldwell, how you doing? What's good? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Everybody is like, everybody's like all giggly. All I'm like, I'm loving it. How are you? I'm I'm good. I'm catching all of the, the silly energy from these two right now. And silly, bro. Like, yeah, those... It's just, it's, it's giving me life right now. <laughs> it's giving, it's giving something. It's giving something. It's giving something. Yeah. It's giving something. Ugh. Anyway, so Steve, I have to ask you, because I asked them, what do you do for Black History Month? Do you do anything different? Like Ronnie Post, Simeon is a virus and he spreads knowledge. What do you do? <laughs> Called him a virus. Well, I'm the what I like to do is educate myself. Okay. Ooh. So I follow a couple different channels, like Extra Credits. They have this amazing Black American history playlist. And then currently right now, uh, one of my favorite channels, Crash Course, oh. has a whole Black history extravaganza that they do. And they go every Friday, they oh. post a new in-depth look at another aspect of Black history, starting with the transatlantic slave trade okay. all the way up to modern day wow. and another channel that i really like is um overly sarcastic productions because they taught me something that i did not know uh -huh. beforehand see christianity first came to ethiopia uh -huh. beyond going throughout the middle east and when black folk got a hold of jesus the entire kingdom of ethiopia just jumped on board it was like you know what jesus is the truth the way and the light and we <laughs> I'm on board with this. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm with that. Exactly. This works. Exactly. <laughs> right. You should. Okay. With okay. that though, I think it's also cool that we recognize like black history isn't just like Africa, it isn't mm -hmm. just like slavery in the US. Like mm -hmm. black people are literally everywhere. There was like black yes. knights, black samurai. There's literally black everywhere Cowboys. you think of. Exactly. Cowboys, Any yeah. like, and also like, I also found like, Last year, I was reading a little bit, and 
Christopher Columbus wasn't the first person here. No, he wasn't. Well, come on now. They right. said, oh my gosh, I hate right. this story. There's, 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 if there's uh, people there, how is he the first one? I will never understand. Why would they keep saying, oh. The first European over here. No, it's okay. You got passionate about that. No, I just hate that story so much. Everybody just hates it when yeah. te teachers used to tell it. How he the like, first one if like, there was people here? Y'all see how she's sitting? Y'all see how she's sitting? She's so over. She's serious. She's that, she's that deep about it. Previous they kings in Africa have there. sent people there over here before and before Christopher Columbus. Like there's old mm -hmm. boats. There's like people go back to yeah, genealogical traits. That before, what? Uh, no, I knew this before. I knew Christopher Columbus say, never found out. I just like found out that there was more African kings who sent people over here before uh, Christ, Christ, Christopher Columbus. That's why like some Native American have like black features. But all of our blood is red. Unless you got purple blood. Anybody got purple blood up here? We're all the same. We're all, we all come from the same God. You feel me? The same love. It's all love. It's all love. It's all love. But we got a couple questions for you. All right. Okay. What's up? Ronnie Monty, you got the first question? Hey, what do you think the, what do you think about the importance of black history? What do I think about the importance of black history? I think it is highly crucial and highly critical that we always, always, always pass down the stories of our ancestors, of our grandparents, of everybody that came before us because as someone once told me, if you don't know where you've been, you don't know where you're going. So Black yeah. History Month in and of itself, I'm just like, I don't know how I feel about Black History Month, but I am adamant about, about Black History. Yeah. Cause I tell people all the time, I'm black all year long, but this month <laughs> I'm blackety black, black black it's in your face. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, it's all there. Mm -hmm. So, how do you handle being a minority in society, and how does that affect your Christian walk? Ooh, oof, could you come in with the heat? So, that was really good. being a minority in a mixed race population. I mind my black business. Mm -hmm. I do my black work. I stay in my black lane. But when people come this way with it, I remind them, I respect you, I respect your people, I respect your space and your right to be here. But um, I don't need to silence my black for you to be heard. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's a low key, the kind of vibe that's going on right now. It's like a silence. They want they want us to be quiet, and we ain't never gonna be quiet. That's that's what they for me. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking back along with that because, <laughs> like like I said earlier, if somebody come to me and ask me, you know, what I'm saying, of course I'll share that information. Yeah. Right. But like for me, I go to a predominantly white and Arabic school, okay. so it's not no reason for me to walk around, you know, all day long. Mm -hmm. And just like give people this information, cause I know I know like at my school, people minds gonna be closed, more yeah, closed, closed and like people before, like generation in general, like people sometimes frown against those who like be doing too much. Right. So the yeah. message isn't heard. They just see like you doing too much. Yeah. No one wants somebody that's gonna constantly challenge the status yeah. quo. Right. But the status quo has always been unfavorable to people of a darker skin tone. Yeah. So even your Arabic friends, they fall into that mm -hmm. with us. Oh God, these questions are good. It's like fire heat. I forgot to answer to how it affects my Christian walk. I'm so sorry. Oh, you good. Now, I have had to literally walk through fire with my faith because if y'all haven't noticed, there's a serious falling away from Christianity in black culture right now. Mm -hmm. And it's growing by the minute. There are people who are against it simply because during slavery, this was the religion that was pushed on us by the enslavers. This was something that was used to basically tell us that we were by nature inferior. Yeah. But I believe the words of Jesus in John 8, uh, verse 31 through 36, where he says, Jesus said to the people who believed in him, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation, by the way, you are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. But we are descendants of Abraham, they said to him. We have never been slaves to anyone. Yeah. What do you mean? 
will, will you be set free? Jesus replied to you, I tell you the truth, everyone who sins is a slave of sin. A slave is not a permanent member of the family, but a son is part of the family forever. So if the son sets you free, mm -hmm. you are truly free. I believe I've had that freedom in Christ Jesus since I was eight years old because that's when I gave my life to Christ and couldn't nobody tell me otherwise that for any reason, I am less than because he makes me more. Mm -hmm. He makes me equal. He makes me a heir and a joint heir with him so that the promises of God are yea and amen throughout the entirety of my life and I will never allow anyone to tell me otherwise simply because of the color of my skin. Period. Yeah. Period. And I love, as I mentioned earlier, we are descendants of Abraham. And that family right there, that's a royal family. We're kings and queens. You feel me? Royalty. Me, Royalty. Tell Nobody me. can never tell us not. Wow, I like that. Thank you, bro. Right. So you kind of spoke about this earlier, about how, like how you feel about one month. like, And my question was, how do you feel about one month of black history? But I guess if you want to go more into it or if you have anything else to yeah, say. Yeah, you can't, you can't really contain black history to just one month because there's always something new to learn because yeah. We got brothers and sisters in the Caribbean. We got brothers mm -hmm. and sisters in Central America. We got brothers and sisters on the West Coast of Africa. We got them all through the continent of Africa. Right. And quiet as it's kept that they don't want to tell you, before all this European colonization, black people owned Spain. Mm -hmm. We ran Spain, the Moors, yep. ask about them. The black Muslims that ran North Africa, Carthage, all those ancient cities black people it's literally like why we can't why one month is kind of hard to do because world history is black history mm -hmm. and like we were implemented so many places around right it's just like anything that you see we've had our hand in right we've had a part of black and people that's helped why build this country exactly the american revolution there were enslaved men that were fighting for this country exactly. that were like we want to show you we are worth more than what somebody else told you we were. Mm -hmm. There were black soldiers fighting in not just the American Revolution, but the American Civil War. And there are service members like myself, my father, my grandfather, and my brother, Sergeant First Class Bradley Toaster, who mm -hmm. is also a member here, yep. who have served yeah. this country with the spirit of Christ leading us the whole way to show not only are we black, but we are black and excellent. Mm -hmm. We are black and dedicated to Christ. You can't contain that to just one month. If you ever been around black people for long enough, you know we too we, we too loud for that. We rub off. We, we okay. too loud for that. Okay. Everybody always want to be around. But here's the question I have, playing devil's advocate here. <laughs> Why do you guys think... <laughs> yeah, like that? That was a good one. All right, that was a good one. That was good, that was good, that was good. That was good. That was good. I, I kind of like... That was, that was good, that was good. I kind of like that laugh. But, but why do y'all think we settle with one month? Why do y'all think we accepted one month? Why do y'all think we was like, hmm. It's the first little tidbit they gave us. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Like, Black history after month, so yes. long, literally after so long of fighting, we just like, we got a little tidbit and we took it. And Does anyone know when it was created? Google it. Know. Google it and come back to me. <laughs> Interesting, right? We kind of we kind of took it, a little tidbit, you know. Personally, I thought it was at the beginning. I probably would have been like, no, like we, we're not taking one month. We're not taking one month. Maybe maybe a every month week, you know what I'm saying? Well, imagine this. <laughs> imagine this, 1910, mm -hmm. your granddaddy was a slave. Mm -hmm. and your family lived in the South where y'all were less than and you were sharecroppers and you had to work for somebody else to even get a little bit of recognition. And there weren't very many jobs. So your family moves you up North to say Chicago mm -hmm. or Pittsburgh or Detroit and the first opportunities you have are something like working on a railway car. Yep. Yeah. It's one of the few opportunities you have as a black person to start making gains to put your family in a better position to be able to start asking for more. Yeah. And then they roll out something like Black History Month where you're now learning about, say, A. Philip Randall, who was one of the forefathers of the civil rights movement, who had the whole idea of the March on Washington movement that 20 years after he originally brought it up was what MLK did. Yep. Without men like A. Philip Randolph, we wouldn't have an MLK. Wow. So yep. you're getting more information about people like that, about like Grover T. Washington, you're getting Booker T. Washington, you're getting Frederick Douglass. Yep. And these are 
people that you were before unable to know anything about. Yeah. So a month, even a short month like February, 28 days, 28 days of somebody giving you more information about your people, about your culture that you otherwise would not have known. I'll, I'll get into history today, man. Um, have you ever felt ashamed of your culture? And that's why we had to make this the last one. Oh, <laughs> this is, oh God, that's a, oh. And we on the plug, so you know we real. We keep it a buck. Yeah, we gonna keep it a, keep buck. It a buck. And I'm gonna tell it to y'all like this. I'm ashamed every time I hear one of y'all's favorite rappers. What you mean? I mean, when there are conscious rappers who spend time developing every single line, every punchline, every metaphor. They go in depth with it on top of a beat and make it catchy. And then there's people like ASAP Rocky. Listen. Every time I hear be doodling on rock. Look, look, bro, look, bro. Every time <laughs> I hear Listen. <laughs> some new frivolity that has caught fire and propagated at light speed from one side of the continent to the other, and black folk will latch on and make everything that we find moderately humorous, truthful. Mm. Nah, I, I just come on, black. Come on, black people. Elon, Elon, it is you. When you ever listen to like, you ever you hear a rap song and then like you like listen. To, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, real quick. That's why like I don't like listening to certain rappers. That's mm. why I have my favorite rapper because okay, right. I don't like hearing about certain topics over and over again. And yes. so many rappers just say the same thing. Yes. And I like what you said because in English class right now she was like we were doing this uh, work and she was like look up songs uh -oh, for like uh, metaphors and similes. Mm -hmm. People are using their knowledge in these songs but it's not like okay they're using their techniques of knowledge they're not using yes information wisely so that's why i don't really like listening to a lot of rappers i listen to like the, the same ones mm -hmm. over and over again so do i i'm but, a big proponent of you put out what will either edify or destroy your community mm -hmm. and based on what you put out i'm liable to judge you so when I hear rappers who are just money, 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 thug this, thug that, guns, girls, blah, 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 I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna listen to you at all. And then when I see the impact it has, it's like, that hard. Mm. <sighs> the impact is heavy. I'm gonna For tell me, you. I don't have like favorite artists. I have mm -hmm. People that I listen to and yeah, people I that I, I rock with I'm, more. I'm thankful like, that you. For me, mm -hmm. for me, it's more of do I like this now? Like, mm -hmm. do I like this? Does it sound good? Content, uh, like lyricism, sometimes like, it, but sometimes it just doesn't matter. Sometimes I'll be like, the beat sounds good. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it is the vibe. Sometimes it is the vibe. I don't like hearing it. Metro right. Boom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there was a, there was a, a Christian rapper when I was like, about y'all's age, the, the truth. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. the truth. Him, Ooh. 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 the truth. Ooh. Him, Lecrae, man. Yes, they kept it. They kept it fire for they us did. all the way. They came with real lyricism, and they were edifying the the community. And then you got guys like J Cole, yep. who have conscious oh, rapper. You yeah, got Common. Yeah. You got Kendrick Lamar, who's actually gonna challenge the status quo. Yeah. Some rappers, like I don't pay attention to, uh -huh. until I listen again and again, mm -hmm. and I'm hearing what they yeah. say. Like there was a song, and he was like. I'm not gonna say which song it was, but he was like, let me take my, like, he had like a mask on because it's from COVID, right? Yeah. And you can hear the clear, and there's so many analogies and said, like, something about a dog, then he talks about a cat. And like, there's just so many weird mm -hmm. analogies yeah. and stuff. And there's so many, like, songs I have to listen over and over again to learn, like, more. And I'm just like, even like, uh, that, there's this one J. Cole song. I don't know. I can't think of the name, but like, it's just like, you have to listen over and over again. And there's so many things. Wow. This was great. This was history filled. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Did y'all enjoy it? I loved it. It was man. great. It was great. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you for joining the show. Thank you for coming. Thank you for giving us the history, right? Right? We appreciate it. And we will see you right after this. Ha, stay tuned. Welcome back to Natasha's Corner. Hi everyone, it's Natasha here, and today I'm gonna, and today I'm gonna be telling you about overcoming obstacles. So it's Black History Month, right? And this month we're celebrating all of the great things that African Americans accomplished. For example, we're celebrating how Harriet Tubman led over 300 slaves to freedom. 
And we're also celebrating how Dr. King fought for our equality. Like Dr. King fought so that all races could be unified, looked at, loved, and respected all as one. And along the way, they all faced many obstacles, but they overcame it. So let's say that you face an obstacle and you just feel like you're the smaller factor. Like you wanna stand up for yourself, but you feel like if you do, then everyone's gonna be against you. So instead you just stay in your place. And when that happens, just trust God. Like once you trust God and build a solid foundation with him, then he'll help you. Like you can be in the darkest valley and just struggle and be depressed for a really long time. And then one day you're at the top of the mountain and that's because God helped you be in the light that you always deserve to be in. So just remember from today that you can do all things through Christ. Once you trust God and build a solid foundation with him, then he'll have a breakthrough ready for you. So just trust the process. And that was your message from Natasha's Corner. And we are back. Now, if you were here, you've just seen an amazing conversation with our media coordinator, Steve Caldwell, and Ronnie, and Simeon, and myself. Um, first of all, bro, what did you get from that? I want to know. For me, you know, I got mainly when Steve came up here, you know, that it kind of helped me remember that black history isn't condensed. It's not one month. It's throughout every day of our lives, and it's something that we have to deal with, especially, like, more of us being black men. True. And True. me, I'm still in high school, but like I said earlier, it's my last semester, so I'm finna be College, right? out of it. And yeah, already really it's about. tough already right now, like yeah. just being black in America. So even at 17, it's tough right now. Tell me about it. My thing is like, definitely as far as February is a month for us to remember the history. And I like how everybody was like, but we need to educate. You know what I'm saying? Like, it can't just be a month that goes on the calendar that we, like, see and then people are, like... People hear about Rosa Parks and MLK, like, right. those great people, but, like, they, we have to understand, like, more behind it. Yes. We have to understand, like, more of what we fought for, why we fought for, and, like, any disparities that we have between us and history, history books especially, because history books won't tell everything that we've been through. Like, that's that's something that we have to do ourselves and educate youth and even adults, even outside cultures about our culture and about us and our things and trials and tribulations and fights that we've had to go through and different things that we've experienced and seeing that we can bring forth. And like, you see it every day, like every with day. the rap topic that we rub off on people. Like our excellence, our creativity and our perseverance rub off on other people. So it's just Black History Month, I feel like is another way for us to take one month out of the year to just show that. And then for us a month a year, I think we should continue to inform, continue to educate, but we gotta come with the hard facts, Black History Month. Period. And that, see, I don't even need to say nothing else after that. That, that was it. That, 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 that was it. That, that was it. We gonna, we gonna end the episode just like that. Well, I must say thank you from Caleb, <laughs> Simeon, and Ronnie and Steve, and Steve and our whole plug production team, everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Make sure you like, subscribe to the video and make sure you don't miss us every single month. We have weekly episodes, weekly videos, topics like this where you help come with the hard facts and also we keep God at the forefront of everything. So make sure you like, subscribe, don't miss out on the plug and we'll see you next time. See ya. Have a great day. And I put the city on my back Country boy, but I hang around city slickers